Hey, hey, what is up everybody? Mark from Big Blue Laser Designs here. Today I'm going to show you how to put together this fun little piggy bank. It takes about three layers of material and it's really easy to put together. It's also something that would be a lot of fun to paint with your kids. So let's jump right into how to put together this multi-layered piggy bank. All right, I'm gonna go over all the pieces of this piggy bank, but before I do, I wanna give you a couple little tips and then we'll jump in how to put it together. First of all, the size is about 12 and a third inches uh, from ear tip to ear tip and about seven and a third tall, but you can resize this to whatever you want, but the only thing you need to pay attention to when you resize it is the slot here for the tail that holds it up in the back because everything else you can go ahead and resize however you want but this slot is going to need to match your material here so you can still do this otherwise uh, you'll have trouble there other than that you can resize it however you wish at this current size it takes me two and a half sheets of mdf and then about a third of a sheet of the clear acrylic again you can also use any material that you like as well the, the thickness doesn't really matter um, you can do it whatever you want. I just like the thickness that this produces when I use the quarter inch MDF. So let me disassemble all this and we'll put it together one layer at a time. Okay, here's all the pieces and I know you can't see all of them, but we'll put them together one layer at a time. This is really quite easy to do. So you want to start with the back layer. Now here, when you cut it out initially, you're going to see that you have score lines right here on what I call the back side. And that's to help you line up the slot in the back. So let me show you how that goes together first, because you might want to do that part first. So you've got this arc right here that's scored. Do not cut that. You need to score that. So make sure you do that in your setup. You've got two half circles here, one that is slightly thicker than the other. The thinner one goes down first, and you just simply put it right inside those score lines and glue it down. Get it nice and straight there. Glue that down. When that is dry, then go ahead and take the larger one, and you want to go ahead and align it with, the, with all the top edges, the outside edges of the one below it like that, so that when you get it together, it overlaps and it creates this little uh, slot indention there. So again, you've got this one here that goes first. And then this one that goes next. And then what's going to happen is you're going to take the curly Q tail and the slotted uh, oval here. This goes in with the slot closer to the top, like not like this, but like this right here. Goes in right there. You're going to glue that in. When your glue dries, then you're going to be able to slide this right in here. And then this tail is going to sit on the table and it's going to hold this up from the back. So that's how that's going to work on the back side. So I would go ahead and do this part first. Once this dries completely, then you can flip this over and assemble the rest. You can also do it the other way around, but you just want to make sure that one side dries completely before you do the other side. Now that you're on the front, the first layer that I would put on is the one that has the gap right here. Now all these have score lines right here and right here, so you can line them up. Now, unfortunately, this one, just by the nature of how it's done, has the score lines here and here on this side. So for the first one, you'll probably want to just hold it up like this and, and uh, align them visually like that. And that'll help you get it um, aligned so that these, these ovals are lined up exactly the way that they need to be. So there's the first one. And then what I would do next is put on the ears. Now these two pieces are identical here. They go just like that. You can line them up. These two pieces are a little bit organic. In other words, they're not identical, identical to each other. So when you put it right here, if it doesn't fit properly, you know that that one actually is the one that goes over here. So in other words, these two are not really interchangeable. Uh, but get the ones that line up nice there. And you can glue those on. You can kind of feel the alignment there around the sides. And once you get that aligned the way you want, you can glue that on. Get that guy back up where it belongs. See, I've accidentally rotated that when I was doing that. That's So that's why those score lines really help. Get that all aligned there wherever you want it glue it on, and then your next two pieces are going to be these two, uh, I'm sorry, this one here. you got two that are identical here. One that goes right like this, and then you've got 
This one here, which I always think of as Mickey Mouse ears, but it's actually the feet of the pig. Line those up like that. And then your clear acrylic goes on next. Again, line up your score lines. And then the top spacer or the top uh, ring goes on last. And of course, you're just going to hide the glue in each one of these layers underneath the one that comes next. So just put nice little thin line or dots around there and try to keep them out of this space completely. You can wipe them off the edges pretty easily, but it's hard to wipe them off where you, you can't see them on the inside. So keep the glue to the outside. And then you get that one down next. And then you're almost done. Now you take the two hooves and they look like kind of like squished or, or fat hearts. This part here goes toward the top, just like that. You glue those guys on like that. And then you've got his face. You can pretty much put this wherever you want. You can put it a little lower of the center. Take the two uh, eyes, put them on like that. And you can give them all kinds of expressions with wherever you put the, the uh, black parts of the eyes. Have them looking up or whatever you want there. And then again, if you hadn't already done it, then you'll go ahead and do these on the back side to get it to stand up. But that's all it takes to put this guy together. Take a look at the way that I painted mine. You can paint it however you want. I think you're going to have a lot of fun with these. The back makes it easy to get the coins and the money out. Um, so yeah, let me know how you guys do. If you have any questions, I'd love to see the final results because I think they're going to be super cute. Enjoy, have fun. Let me know if you have any questions. But until then, as always, I will see you in the next one.